This is an example of one of the biggest pops. It's excising a huge lipoma on the shoulder using tumescent anesthesia. This is a woman who traveled from a few hours away actually to see me and she's had this lipoma previously excised before. It's on her shoulder. Okay, you should feel nothing like I said unless other than us touching you, all right? Yes. You had this excised how long ago? Many years ago, right? Hey. Eight years ago. It, did, it took a little while for it to come back? Yes, like yeah. four years ago. Four years. Let's see if we can't squeeze this little friend of yours out here. You see it. It's definitely a lipoma. It looks nice and healthy, like it's enjoyed living with you. <laughs> A lipoma is a benign growth. It's really like a, a collection of clonal fat cells. It's as if one, one fat cell decided to divide upon itself and create a little family of its own kind. Okay, I'm gonna push against you, okay? Just to squeeze it out. Yes. So it's enclosed in its own little world. We call it like a, um, a, a pseudo cyst that it, that's enclosed in it. So it's like in its own little community of clonal fat cells. They're completely benign, nothing to worry about, but people often don't like them because you can feel them under your skin. And in this case, you can see it. You can see that it's pretty big. It's bigger than the size of my fist. It's coming out too. It is, it's coming out, but I'm trying to take gently, try, I'm trying to get it out whole. So it just takes a little bit of TLC, you know? Don't want it to be too rough to it and try not to break it and okay. try to tease it out. But it looks like it's coming out. It's, it's going to be satisfying, I do believe. that this has been removed before and it came back, I hope that doesn't mean that it comes back again. Hopefully okay. you have longer time before that happens if it did too. when it's very satisfying and we know that it's a lipoma. It's just stuck down under there. Hey, I like it. I think, you know, I think that was really actually pretty contained. To, to really have a, such a big bump or a big problem literally on her shoulder that you have to hide with your clothing, that you have to hide with your hair. To remove something like that is truly life-changing. So what'd you think? Did you think that you could do that under local anesthesia? It didn't look too painful, right? I don't think she was in any discomfort really much at all. And really to get rid of something like that, it can be life-changing to somebody. And I just feel so privileged to be able to help people in this way and to, to really make their um, lives better and more enjoyable. So um, really to be able to bring all of you guys in and to be able to watch this too is something that is just, I, I just uh, feel so lucky to be a part of.